Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest where today we're going to go start chipping away at some of the uh, bases in the North Pole. So as you guys have probably noticed, every single video, a whole bunch of my sectors have been getting attacked and I'm getting a little sick of it. So I think we are just going to go through here and take out two of these bases up here at the North Pole and then basically get this started on working our way through the entire area. So I'm thinking we go after 68, which is a high threat. And then we go after 70, which is an extreme base. But to make this a little bit more interesting, I think we're going to attempt to do these two bases without pausing at all. The only time that I'm going to allow pausing is that I pause the game to go and get my exports from Salt Flats. But other than that, there will be no pausing at all. Now these things can get very hectic, especially on the extreme and eradication sectors, because Guardians will show up very fast, and if you're not prepared, you're kind of dead. So... This should be interesting. Anyways, let's go to 68. Grabbing our usual core. Let's do this. Alright, let's do a sector review without pausing. That should be fun. Uh, overall on the sector, a little bit of water, some spores. Everything is here, minus uh, thermal and I think oil. And there's a lot of scrap here. Wow, that makes up for the lack of sand. But again, no sand, no thermal. The ore veins are kind of small. You know, not a bad sector, but it's nothing crazy either. All right, let's go grab our exports. That's the only time we are allowed to like pause it, even though I didn't really pause it at all. Alrighty, exports have been acquired and let's do this. No pausing, let me take my hand off the space bar I guess we can now go see what we're dealing with here. Okay, let's see. This looks like it's one of the easier high threat bases. I think I've seen some high threats with uh, surge walls, but this one looks like it's just thorium. So we got lancers, we got duos. There's probably a couple of hail around here. Yep, there we go. Scatters. And then maybe there's a bigger turret on the core. We got a fuse. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. I think we just make some zeniths and then just go fly over there and destroy this. All right, well, we've got basically everything except that building. I should have made a poly factory to increase the speed of the uh, multiplicative reconstructors here. But, I mean, I figured we're not going to be spending much time here as this is a hard sector. So, you know what? Let's just make a couple zeniths real quick and get this out of the way and we can move on to something more difficult. I think I am also going to load these up with Blast Compound just so we can get out of here a little quicker. I mean, let's be honest, this is probably going to be done by wave 4, if even. Okay, so I might have went a little bit overkill with the amount of Zen this that I made. I accidentally made 17, I meant to make like 10. But, I mean, whatever. Let's just get this sector done. I haven't paused one time, and I haven't even needed to. I haven't even seen the enemy. Where are they? That was a flare. Yeah, I probably just got smoked out of the sky before I even thought about it. Yeah, okay, well. Yep, that's probably exactly what happened last time. Okay, well, let's just get this over with then. Uh, should we commit a war crime? I feel like we kind of have to, right? Sorry, guys, it has to happen. I feel kind of bad for doing that, but also not really. Okay, well. Goodbye. Sector captured. That was easy. I think we made it to wave three. Okay, let's uh, disconnect all of this stuff here. We don't even need it anymore. Uh, we can leave these here. I'm actually going to put this here and this here because I believe we are next to another enemy base. We are. We're next to 129. The reason I did not choose 129 as the extreme base is because this is the sector that we tried to survive as many waves as possible. So I guarantee you there's going to be a bunch of my old defenses left there, and it's just going to make it even easier. I mean, we theoretically still could do it, but I feel like we should go to a fresh sector, you know? Alrighty, with 68 out of the way, let's head over to 70. 198, I believe, has a full shipment of resources. Yes, it does. Alrighty, here we go. Sector 70, extreme base. Now, this one, I think, is going to take a little longer because, you know, we have to build some more advanced units. I don't think Zenith are even going to make it there. Kind of don't want to use Zenith because they do feel like a cheat code sometimes. The high threat sector, I mean, whatever. We were going to take it out either way. It was only a matter of time. Probably it was going to be flares up until wave 35, so let's just get out of the way. Anyways, here's 70, extreme base, let's do this.
Now, the presence of this kind of rock here makes me believe that there's thermal here. There's no oil I saw, so it can't be at the 10 out of 10. But here we go. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, there is thermal here. It's not much. And again, there might be more buried somewhere because there's quite a bit of enemy base here. Oh, great. We got a flare factory. Fantastic. All right, there's one of the cores. Yeah, Zenith ain't going to make it. Okay, we're going to have to use some maybe quads or something. Maybe an Eclipse, maybe Oct. I don't know. We're going to have to use some advanced units here. So let's go grab our exports. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Oh, okay. Jesus, I was about to say exports acquired, but we've lost half the freaking base, dude. Oh, that's not good. And there's enemy. Oh, there are four enemies already. Yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be an interesting sector, I bet. I can't even pause it either to think. I'm just going to have to go, go, go. I was just building that. I'm going to body block it. Yep, that's right. Hold that. Let's go, dude. Doing good so far. We need to get power. Uh, uh Where's that going to go? I don't know. Maybe here, I guess? Everything is fine. We have power. Just do this, I guess. Bonk. All right, so now we can wait for the polys to be built. We can... Will you guys shut up? And now we can actually start rebuilding the core here. I'm also putting another cyclone in because it's getting kind of crazy. All right, force field, water extractor, you can put that there. That should work, yep. Cool, okay. So that was a little bit of a hectic start, but we did manage to make it all the way. Okay, um, let's go take a look at the actual base. I didn't, I like schemed over it when we were looking for thermal, but I didn't actually take a good look at it. So basically, flare factory, that's annoying. We're gonna have to take that out. Um... Uh, Nothing too crazy so far. There's no, like, foreshadow sniper towers or anything, so that's good. So basically, we got... Oh, we have a, uh... A that thing factory. What is that, an Atrax? Am I... St Dude, I wish I knew the unit names. I just don't. It is an Atrax. Never mind. I take everything back. I know what I'm talking about. I'm thinking we either go with, uh... Quads, or we make, like, a... Toxopid or something, or maybe a Corvus. I feel like the Corvus is going to take a lot longer, so maybe that would be more interesting. So why don't we do that? Once we get to, like, 10 waves, that's when things are going to start going down, because there's going to be bosses. So let's make the Toxopid here while we still have the chance to actually survive it. Alrighty, so there's our face fabric. I basically just extended the line. I don't know how this garbage is getting in here, to be honest. Okay, so here's our whole plan. We're going to put this on crawler, which means we need to get some coal. So let's just get, like... We don't need that much. We only need, like, one. Can I not mine coal? There we go. Slap that in there. Slap the silicon in there. And that's going to make one. Sweet. Uh, I guess we really don't need to worry about this because we're only going to be making the one. So let's just fill it up with what it needs for these first few. And then these two, we can actually run some lines over here because it's getting ridiculous. Okay. All right, so we got silicon going in, except it isn't because... Uh, plastinium conveyors are very annoying sometimes. We need to get... Why did I do it like that? Okay, you know what? It's We'll just fill this one up and then redirect it. Whatever, dude. Okay. All right, and now it's just a waiting game, and we also need to make cryofluid and get them in here somehow. Yeah, this is going to be really awkward. So we're going to have to push up the defenses because it's getting kind of crazy out here. So let's get rid of you. Not giving myself a lot of space to work with, but it whatever. It should be okay. Okay, go, 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 go. There we go. And now we do the same thing over here if the polys could get out of the way. Thank you. And we're going to have to rework how that all works because we need some room to put the cryofluid in. Uh, I did not give myself enough room to work with here, did I? Okay, we're also going to need to get water from somewhere. I don't think there is water. There is water, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it over here without like getting shot at. I guess we could try, right? Unfortunately, the enemies like to go, like, the wrong way. So why don't we just do that? Really? You're still going there. All right, so there's our cryofluid. Let's just pipe it straight over to here. We can get this built up, and then we can redirect it. Okay, so now we redirect this into there. Oh, power draw. Oh, we need more power. Oh, that's not good. And our water's been destroyed because this guy wanted to walk over the wall. Thank you. I don't know why you want to do that. Whatever. All right, we're almost there, though, which is good. Just got to wait a little bit for this cry fluid to go in. It is 11 waves, and there hasn't been the threat of a boss yet, which is weird, you know? Oh, he's going to be getting sniped at, too. So we might want to play this a little carefully with this guy. 
I think we can manage, though. I think we'll be fine. And there he is. All right, let's go rampage this place. Hold on. I know I'm pausing. There's a spider on my desk. Give me a second. Where did you go, bro? Oh, God. Where did he go? Well, that's great. I don't know where it went. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Okay, well, we technically did just fail the challenge there, but I, I think you guys can give me a pass for that, right? Come on, there was a spider on my desk, and it crawled right under my keyboard. I don't know, man. And then I couldn't find it, which is even arguably worse, but whatever. I have three debuffs right now. What is going on? Oh, I see the phase walls are, like, redirecting the uh, plasma balls. Man, I'm taking some heavy hits over here. What the... Oh, I just got sniped by the foreshadow. Okay, uh, let me destroy this fuse here, and let's back up a second. We need to get healed up before we're gonna go push that core. You know, I forget that, like, the legs do damage. They literally just step on things. We should be good to just place a whole bunch of RTGs down over here, just as a quick little power setup here, and then we can power this all the solar panel. All right, Polly's, please go sit over here. Let me just uh, control this guy again, get healed up. Back in action. I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way down there on this push either because that foreshadow is just going to snipe us really hard and it's going to be bad. Let's try to clear out as much of this as we can though so we can get even further with the next push. Oh, we're taking both shots. Oh, this is bad. So maybe the Toxopid is not the play for this, especially considering how heavy we're getting hit right now. Let's back off. Oh, we might even die here because of the foreshadows. Yep, okay. So... Toxopid was not the play, unfortunately. And now we have to build another unit, and I can't pause the game either. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Gorvus. All right, just filling up everything again. We need to redo all of the uh, item transportations and everything, but I'll just do that. It's going to be kind of boring to watch, so uh, I'll just do it. All right, there we go. Making up a Corvus here. It's going to be a while because cryofluid is still a problem. But I think we should be good. Just got to wait for this to show up. And then hopefully we can snipe out some things. Although we are going to get double tapped by the sniper. So we might have to go from this side. See, the thing about this is they've set it up. So you're going to get sniped no matter which way you go. You know, it's a good strat. But man, is it hard to fight. So if we lose this Corvus, we're just going to start making quads and just get rid of them. You know? Oh, great. Okay, so there is a Guardian approaching in five waves, and it is a Toxopid. So, we should probably prepare for that. Uh, I would assume that we're not going to be able to destroy this before it gets here. So, why don't we just kind of place a foreshadow right here? It's going to be sitting next to the water line that is fueling our cryofluid, but that should hopefully help us out a little bit. Hey, there we go. We got it. Okay. Let's try to get as much of this done as we can before this guy shows up. Uh, I would like to get at least one core down, although I don't think it's going to work. But we can try at least. And uh, another thing about these things, they walk very slowly. So I don't even think this guy's going to be able to get down there before getting destroyed by the foreshadows. Oh boy. I don't need to be doing this. But it's fun, so we're going to. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think we're going to make it. I think we're just going to have to make quads and just go drive over and blow them up. So... Bit unfortunate, but, I mean, at least we saw it coming, right? There's no way they're pushing me out of the way, right? Wow, we can almost actually hit. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get into position and start sniping out some stuff. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, are we even hitting the meltdown? I have no idea. A little bit closer. Still not getting sniped by the other foreshadow. Okay, but we hit those. Okay, that's good. If we can get this power node out, that would be optimal. Still not getting sniped by the other one, which is good. Let's try to get this node out. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but okay. How is this thing still here? There we go. So now we should be able to... Ow! I don't think I can hit the core from here, but we need to get some of these menders down. No, we can't. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take some hits here. It's gonna be bad. Uh, can we get over here? Oh, we can. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get these uh, power nodes out before we get obliterated. Okay, we got one of them. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think we're gonna make it. 
Come on! Oh! Oh, we made it! Don't shoot me! Oh! Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Okay, um, we need an emergency surgery on this guy. We got one wave to do it as well. Oh god, okay. How mo how long do we have? A minute 16 to get this core destroyed? There's two of them, obviously, but we can't do much about the other one, so... Yeah. Oh, we can't even build here. Oh, rats. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think bro's gonna survive this. Alright, well, we can try. Here we go. Uh. Let's go, dude! Okay, he's getting healed up. Let's put a couple more down here. I think these should all be able to reach. Okay, let's get this guy healed up at least to, like, half, and then we'll go destroy this place. Yep. All right, so now we just sit here and hold down the left click until this thing dies. Or the Toxopit shows up and destroys me first. We have seven seconds to take this core out. You think we're going to make it? My bet's on no. Uh-oh. Yep. Problem. And of course it had to spawn on this side, so it's going to completely destroy my Toxopit, and there's nothing I can do about it. Wait, I have a Corvus. Hey, listen, you don't have to do this, you know? You don't have to do it. I'm alive. Wow. That's a miracle. Okay, you know what? I take it back. Really? I have, why did I say that? Guardian's here. I realize now that we have no menders, we probably should get a few of those. Nuclear's under attack. And it survives three waves. la di da di da la di da How about now? Oh, it still survives three waves. That's concerning. Okay, um, you know what that means? Um, yeah, I, I don't know how the sector simulation works, but, um, when, I, when all else fails, throw down a bunch more garbage. Boring! We're gonna lose nuclear again. You know, maybe I should just go there and do a couple waves over there, because this survives. So we could just let this kind of sit, you know? We can reconnect that, and then that should be good in cryo. Now everything is good. Okay, we're good. Now let's go to nuclear and... Next wave. Guardian approaching in two waves. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. You know what? Why don't we just go back to 70? <clears throat> Apparently we're going to be having to do a reclaiming lost ground video. That's fantastic. Okay, well. Oh man, that's crazy. Alright, so I prepped everything just to be sure. We should be making another one even if I lose this one. Alright, let's go walk this guy down. It's going to take forever. So I think we're going to do something stupid and crank it up to 4x speed here. And just mosey on down. Let's see, can I snipe this core out now? Yeah, okay, there we go. Boom! Core down. Okay, so now we need to get this one. This one's gonna be a bit weird. If I can snipe out the power node... Yeah, we're not close enough. We're gonna have to get fairly close, and we're gonna take some hits from this foreshadow, but we should be able to take the power node out before it kills us. There we go. All right, well, that was easy. And now we just sit over here and snipe the rest of it out. Boom! What is that guy doing? Oh, okay, cool. Well, there you go. Sector captured. Okay. So let's unplug all the stuff we don't need anymore. Uh, like that. And sweet. Okay. So since I did have to pause the game because there was a spider on my desk, I think let's go do 229 because it's right next to 84 and 84 has been being attacked for a long time. Now, this one is going to get attacked, so I'm going to leave everything plugged in up here, but 24 is right here, so it's going to be getting attacked for a little bit. All right, you know what? Let's do this. I think there's going to be no messing around this time. There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, guardians, and they're going to be coming quick. So let's just make quad, and we're just going to quad bomb everything. That's the plan. All right, 229, let's do this. All right, this is a pretty decent-looking sector. We got a lot of stuff here. Oh, my God, there's so much base. Oh, uh, uh, uh huh. One, two. Uh, let's just grab a conveyor. One, two, two cores looks like. But holy, there's a lot of stuff here. This seems out of place, but I'm sure it's fine. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Other than that, wow, look at this. Oh my god, hold on. The only thing that's missing here is thermal, right? But there's a lot of everything else. Dude, if this had thermal, it would be it. I might even have to give this the 10 out of 10 if there isn't a thermal sector like this one. Because this one's great. It's got everything. It's got water everywhere. It's got black sand spores. It's got huge veins. And when huge, I mean huge veins. Wow, okay. So for now, it gets a 9.9. .9. But if we don't find the 10 out of 10, this is it. Exports acquired, and there will be no more pausing. Okay, let's try to get as much of this down as we can very quickly. Polyfactory first, obviously. All right, you know what? I'm even going to do the advanced uh, method called blow this up. Thank you. Oh my god, I started a core. Ah, why did I do that? I'm so stupid, dude. Oh my god, why? I am, I am literally... Yeah, okay. So, launching into 220... Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I guess the real question is, are we still getting our exports? Oh, we are! Oh, nice! Okay. Yeah, no one saw that. That didn't happen. I'm not stupid, it's fine. Man, I'm really happy with this sector. If there was thermal here, poof, it would be over, dude. All right, so there's our core done. Let's just do that. I think we should be able to survive with just these guys for now. I bet the guardians are gonna be here quite soon, so let's try to get this going. Yeah, okay, let's move this down by one. I'm paused, I paused it! Oh, hold on, so now we have to go to four times speed and just sit here for an entire two waves because I did technically just cheat there. God dang it. Okay, well, two waves have passed. That's, if I pause it, I have to skip two waves. I think that's probably a more reasonable thing to do than just restarting the sector because at this point, I mean, I've already restarted it once, so whatever. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. So, uh, did you see that? Did you see, I hate everything. Okay, well, yep, two more waves have passed. I need to stop, dude. I really should have unbind it, but I don't even know if you could, so it, it's okay, I guess. Yep, so that's just gonna have to- ah! And we are making these very quickly now. Sweet. Now, it is wave nine. I have not seen any warnings of bosses yet, but I would like to be prepared in case that does happen. So why don't we just get a little defense set up? I mean, I say little, it's not gonna be little. There it is, 10 waves. Okay, so good thing we are prepping this. I feel like out of respect for pausing it accidentally, we need to fight that thing. So we're going to wait until that thing shows up to actually start attacking. Unfortunate for me, but it's fortunate for you because you get to see me suffer. All right, so there we go. That should now be our defensive wall done. Now, how many quads do we have? Wow, five already? Holy! I guess we wait for the boss to show up. I don't know when it's coming. But, I mean, for the meantime, I guess we can load these all up with Blast Compound, right? Why don't we just do half and half of what we have? Half of the uh, quads are going to go to one core, half to the other, and then we should just smoke this sector and call it a video. Okay, five waves to go. So it's coming at wave 20, and we already have 12 of each. So that's... No, we have six of each. There's 12 total. I, I can't count anymore. Alrighty, here we go. Two Guardians, two Eclipses. They should be coming from... Probably both cores. Yep. Okay. It looks like they're headed straight right here. I think we should be fine, but just in case we're not, I'm going to throw down a couple foreshadows. Ah, power, 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 power. I forgot about that. Just one. Okay. Yep. We'll just stick with one because that's the only thing we have the power budget for. Whoops. Like it even matters, though. Like it even matters. Okay, and that... These two quads are the last ones. Literally, during that time, we made 24 quads. There is an army strong enough to literally destroy both cores in seconds. Already, we have got our fellas in position here. Let's see. They're going to get sniped by a foreshadow, so goodbye. Let's just watch this one first. I should try to save that one. Cool. Okay, well, that is an absolute miracle. I cannot believe this guy survived. How oh my, look at its health too. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll have to give you a retirement home or something, but let's get this sector over with.
And sector captured. Okay, and surprisingly, one guy from each um, each little attack force there survived. So we're going to go heal them up, and they can just chill by the defense for the rest of the time. Cool. Okay. Alrighty, quads have been returned to base camp, and I think with that, we're going to call it for this episode. We managed to take out three different sectors, a um, hard, extreme, and eradication in this episode, and we have re-uncovered Sector 24. Alright, I'd say that's pretty good. That's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to sit here and congratulate these two quad for surviving the onslaught. Goodbye. <laughs>